Hey guys, so I actually wanted to tell you this yesterday, but then I don't know, I forgot. I really need to get better at just sharing when it comes because it's so much easier. Um, but so, like for the past two days, I'm including today, the past two days, I am, um, <clears throat> I, I don't know, I had like this a little bit of a moment um, just about, you know, around how important it is that we actually follow the right people on social media and engage with the right people on Twitter and stuff like that. And, um, it was actually quite an amazing experience. I watched, I think I was on Instagram. I need to get the order right. So I think I was on Instagram and I saw the video that Kirk Franklin posted about the Dove Awards and um, TBN and about how, you know, and he speaks briefly just about how, um, you know, people need to be held accountable. And social media is, is just one of the ways that we use to um, make sure people are held accountable for whatever it is they're doing, which is why he was sharing his story, right? So um, I saw that, and then after that, soon after that, actually, so that that really challenged me because first of all, I was like, yeah, you know, I don't know that if somebody looks at my um, social media profile that they'll really be able to understand what's going on in my life. Not necessarily that they need to understand what's going on in my life, um, but like I think it's 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 really cool that people understand that you know like that we're a whole person because you know like. There are good days, but there are bad days, and there are blessings, but then there are also things that we sacrifice as a, um, you know, to get to those blessings. And I think part of the journey is such a beautiful um, testimony in itself, which is why when I then saw a post by Jake Hamilton, um, I was challenged again because then Jake Hamilton posted and he was saying, um, and like legit, I think this is my favorite thing of the whole year. So, like, go Jake Hamilton. Um, but he was saying he showed an interview that he did a few years ago, I think four years ago, so where he was talking about um, Kanye West. Okay, so a name I am now aware of because it is everywhere. And this whole, um, you know, he's, he's coming into, into faith and becoming a Jesus follower and all that stuff. And when the, when the album, when Digger's Office told me about the album, I was like, okay, but I don't understand why people are being so like touchy about this and stuff. And they were like, no, because this guy gets you, you don't understand, right? And I went and I read about it, and the um, what I loved in what I read was um, he said, you know, I used to something about Hennessy. So he was like, you know, um, when I was when I loved Hennessy and when I was passionate about Hennessy, then I, you know, that's what I sang about. And when when fashion gave me certain things, and I, you know, and that was really great, and I was enjoying that part of my life, then that's what I sang about. And now I'm just grateful for what Jesus is doing in my life, so that's what I'm singing about. And I thought, wow, that's actually like amazing. You know, that's I, I really did. I love that. And I thought, okay, cool. Anyway, to get back to the story, so Jake Hamilton posted this thing, and he said, you know, the danger in where we are now as a church is that we only celebrate a finished testimony. We don't want to celebrate a testimony that's in progress. Um, and that, like, guys, I can't even explain to you. I just, yo, I think I'm even guilty of that um, so many times. You know, sometimes someone will tell me about where they're, currently, or where they're currently struggling and it's, you know, yes, we're quick to say, I'll pray for you and don't underestimate the power of prayer, definitely not. But I think it's also so important for us. Like, can you just imagine that in those moments that I'm just like, hey, my man, what if we pray together? You know, let's go on our knees together and and just let's come before the Lord together and all that stuff. And and um, just the this this thing has just been ringing in my head over and over and over and over again, just about you know the 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 power of a testimony that's in progress. And it's actually so sad. Um, I think that as the church, well, just as believers, you know that. Um, mm, hmm, it's actually so sad that we can't. Um, that you know, in, instead of. I don't. You know, part of me wants to say celebrating where this guy is on his journey um, with Christ, or even that he's just found Jesus, you know, even, I mean, some people are saying, yes, it's seasonal. Some people are, even if it is just a season, like the 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 first season in my life where I encountered Jesus, like it, it changed my life forever. And it's because people were, were willing to allow me to engage with him and explore him and discover him in those moments that I was then able to find who Jesus is for me, because coming into faith obviously starts with, you know, um, just seeing your, the experiences of other people and how, um, and, and allowing Holy Spirit to draw you closer to him. But we, we get to, there's, there's a lot of influence that comes in, um, in those first days. Um, sorry, it's, <laughs> um, 
yeah so when jake said you know the the that he's just he's so grateful that this that this guy is is happy to sing about or is 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 happy to share about his testimony while it's in progress it really hit me and it challenged me firstly as i mentioned in the way of you know um where do i engage people in terms of their testimony and secondly just I mean, there's such a measure of grace, guys, that's available and it's available to each and every one of us. And the fact that, I think the fact that people are making such a big thing out of this for me, because um, half the people love it and half the people don't. And I'm just like, you know, why, how, how are we not at a place where we can actually celebrate somebody who's saying, look, I found Jesus and, and, um, and I want to share with you so far my experience of him. Anyway, <coughs> so um so then so then that happened <laughs> and that was also on instagram and then um i just then i then something came up of joel osteen um and he was talking just about um bitterness and how um we have to work to let go of bitterness in our lives and actually you know it's, it's a conscious decision for us to purge ourselves out of that and and then like a few tweets came up and a few Facebook posts and, and all these things kind of really just brought me to a place where I realized, um, going back to Kirk Franklin in the beginning, just how, um, you know, how it really does matter who I'm following and who I'm engaging with on social media and in my life. Um, because, I mean, you can get onto Instagram and I know some people, um, who've said to me, you know, they spend like hours on Instagram and hours on Facebook, or let's just say social media. And spending hours on social media, um, you know, you're giving so much attention to that. And and then I'm just like, okay, well, what content are you taking in? Um, for me, there's there's such a <clears throat> they, they really there's such an importance for me to say, okay, well, you know, yes, appreciate the church that you belong to, or whatever, but listen to teachings, listen to to, to other people because there's thing you know god is sharing different things with different people at different phases in their life and at different stages in their life um and as you listen to different people share different things i mean i even you know you even that's why i i mean i will always celebrate when a pastor says hey guys you know i heard this teaching from this guy um and i just want to share it with you because you know that guy got the the way god imparted it to him and the way he's he shared it is really what I feel is right for the season in, you know, in our church or our people, our congregation. Um, and, you know, and I mean, I, I always celebrate that because I'm like, you know, at least I know that that person is, 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 is tapping into here. Okay, Lord, what it is, what is it that you're actually saying for, for us as, 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 as a church in this area at this specific time? Um, <clears throat> So yeah, so the you know, uh, yeah, sure. The the I think there's 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 a call to accountability, um, very true. Um, but in the same way that you won't allow somebody to walk off the street, um, to kind of just go for it and 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 rebuke you directionally in your life, if I can put it like that. In the same way, I think you know we also need to be conscious of the journeys that other people are going through and um, the role that we play in either encouraging those journeys or or discouraging those journeys. I mean, I obviously I don't know this guy, um, but I mean, I will I celebrate the fact that um, on a Sunday morning he will wake up and he will go to church and he will make his family go with him and. Um, and in his industry of of music, he's decided to sing about Jesus. And because and because he's decided to sing about Jesus, there are people that will hear the gospel or will hear something about Jesus or something about the, the heart of the Father that would never necessarily have heard it. Um, so, um, yeah, I think let's continue just to pray for each other and to lift each other up and to encourage each other as we do this road because... You know, it does get challenging and it does get difficult. Um, but there are times when we find ourselves standing on mountaintops and just celebrating everything that God has done for us. And when those moments come, can we just rejoice with people and not um, try and find ways to 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 d discredit um, whatever it is we think that they're sharing? Um, 
so i mean i think that totally took a detour i was really just trying to talk to um you know it's important who we follow and why we follow them and the content that we're taking in in social media but i think i'm also really happy just to share around um being you know encouraging each other in the in the walk of faith and um <clears throat> yeah okay cool have a good day